Thanks so much for having us into the studio here with you. Um, what can you tell us about this first track you're going to play for us? We're going to play a song called Familiar, and it's a song about the power of a secret and how it can sort of haunt you. The album uh, 
Citizen Glass. Can you tell us a little bit about, uh, it's a concept record um, about privacy sort of in this age of social media. Uh, can you tell us about what inspired you to um, create your album around that concept? Um, I came across this term in, I was reading an article about surveillance and then it was in German and in Germany you talk about um, the loss of privacy with this, you use this image of a glass human or glass citizen and I just thought it was very poetic in a way and I um, felt like it was something I could, you know, use for, for an album and I could turn that into sound somehow. And yeah, that's, it's actually just, it's a political term, but I'm understanding it in my own way, sort of how I understand how it is to be made of glass and be transparent and not having any secrets. Great. And what can you tell us about this next track you're going to play for us? I'm going to play a track called Golden Green. And it's about um, it's about envy and the feeling that envy is taking over your world and everything you are seeing. Oh, my eyes 
That was great. So I'm curious how the concept of glass uh, sort of carried over into the instrumentation on the album. How do you, was that something you kept in mind when you were uh, writing it and putting it together and experimenting with new sounds? Yes, um, yeah. We, um, or I started looking for new instruments as soon as I found uh, the title of the album. Because mm -hmm. I wanted, the whole idea was that I wanted to see if I could work in a different way with the sort of more conceptual, not just in the songwriting, but also in the with the production and everything. So I started researching for new instruments that I thought could sound like glass. And in my mind, glass is something that has sort of a tension in the sound. Yes, yeah, so I was looking for all keyboard instruments and also sort of instruments that could sound like a string uh, or a wire that's suspended or something or about to break. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I did a lot of research on the internet and went to some museums and stuff like that. Cool. And what can you tell us about this next track you're going to play for us? Um, it's a song called It's Happening Again. And it's a song about, you know, eternal recurrence and how things can sort of appear like they're happening in a loop and how how in a way we are like these prisms of the past, you know, we are the sum of our experiences and it will always come through us in a way. Yeah. I'm gonna start the song now. Say 
was beautiful. Um, before we let you go, do you want to tell people who are tuned in uh, where they can next catch you live? Um, yeah, um, let me think. We just ended our tour in Europe, so the next time we're playing live will be the 28th of uh, sorry of February in Montreal. But I guess in the U.S., when are we playing? In, the US? in all of March, all over the U.S. <laughs> Great. Well, thanks again so much for being here today. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having us.